uploaded. Uh, welcome back to import that on account again. Oh, in this video, uh, we want to look at the question uh, from the question paper of November 2023. Still working on the question paper. So I want, we are going to look uh, at the question uh, where we are going to prepare the note to the balance sheet or the note to the statement of financial position. Remember, notes are calculations that we make uh, before we prepare uh, the balance sheet. So they are pre-calculations that we make. So it means that before preparing the balance sheet, we are supposed to uh, make some notes whereby we don't calculate uh, uh, figures that are going to enter in the uh, balance sheet. So uh, in this case, we are going to look at the property, plant, and equipment notes. So on the property, plant, and equipment notes, uh, we are going to uh, present our carrying value at the beginning and then carrying value at the end. So I remember when you are, when you are calculating our carrying value, uh, carrying value, the formula that we use to calculate carrying value, we say carrying value is close to our cost our costs uh, minus our accumulated and depreciation. So this is what we have. So, uh, but if you look in the question that we have here, we do not have uh, the accumulated depreciation. Uh, we are only given uh, the costs. So it means our, our accumulated depreciation in this case is going to be zero. So it means uh, the figure that we have for cost is also the figure that we have for cost value. Because if you say minus zero here, you always get the same figure which is going to apply as our carrying value so uh, this is uh, what we have so we just have to take notes but in the case that we have got depreciation in the question it means we have to uh, calculate the accumulated depreciation remember accumulated depreciation means a depreciation of the non-current asset from the day uh, it was purchased until uh, the, until today that is our accumulated uh, depreciation so we add all the depreciation if it was purchased three years ago use the depreciation for all the three years we add so that we get the total so the total becomes uh, the accumulated depreciation so uh, this is uh, what we are going to do uh, in this video so if you come here on other section you'll see that this is our note to the statement of financial position which is the property plant equipment note uh, so the property plant equipment note is usually the note one is supposed to be a note one uh, on our notes and then uh, this is the presentation that we have but uh, this is uh, the presentation that we have uh, because we do not have a, have a uh, uh, depreciation in the question so uh, in the event that we have got a depreciation in the question it means uh, we are going to have our carrying value here and then uh, let me just uh, demonstrate how it should look like when we are having a depreciation uh, in the question so if an F, when I have depreciation in the question, it means the layout should be, we should have a carrying value at the beginning, uh, there at the top, uh, and then we are going to put it there, and then we have got costs at the top here, and then we've got an accumulated depreciation here. So uh, we are going to say the figure that we put here for our, our, our uh, let's just maybe start with uh, the figure that we are going to put with our, as our costs should be here. And then our accumulated depreciation will be here, and then we put some subtract, we get your uh, costs, uh, at the beginning so this figure will be the, uh, the figure that we have at the beginning this will be a cost the cost at the beginning accumulated depreciation at the beginning then you subtract the two you get your uh head value at the beginning here so uh, this is uh, what we have and then uh i believe that now that's when we are now going to present uh if there are any additions uh, that we are there that came during the year i uh, will put it there but of course and do not have all that and then uh obviously when you uh and uh, when you dispose the non-current asset, that when you, that is when you sold in non-current asset, uh, it carrying value. The carrying value of that non-current asset that was sold uh, or disposed, we put it here. Uh, carrying value at disposal, uh, we put it here, and then we also have a depreciation for the for that non-current asset to come here. And then uh, at the end of it now, uh, where that's when we are going to have our our carrying value at the end. Uh, yeah. And believe that that's when we make calculations that we arrive in Kelly Bar at the end, where we're saying cost at the end, and then accumulated depreciation at the end. And then uh, if you put our figures here uh, for our costs and accumulated depreciation, we will subtract here, you send so many so you get your Kelly value at the end. And then obviously, here our additions uh, will be a positive if there is a disposal. Uh, obviously, it come here, and obviously, the disposal is going out, and then the depreciation for here also will come here. So uh, these ones, uh, we can, there's no need to put uh, brackets as such, but you can just put the figures because they're not going to affect any calculations. They're just as stating uh, what transpired during the year. So basically, this is uh, the uh, layout in terms of the scenario that we have when we have some movements in terms of 
uh, efficient at, at disposals uh, during the year. So according to the quest, our question, we've got to have such. So we are just going to put uh, the same figure for uh, costs we're going to apply as current value, as we have explained earlier. So if you come here, uh, we have put, we see that we have put three non-current assets or fixed assets uh, in our question where we have related buildings, we have equipment, we have vehicles. So if you come back there uh, in our uh, trial balance, we're just going to, we are just going to try to check the figure for landed buildings that we have, which is 404 to 1,900. But remember, landed buildings does not depreciate. Uh, so in any other question that you are going to see, you are going to see that we are not going to have any uh, depreciation for landed buildings because uh, it doesn't uh, depreciate. So, uh, but for equipment and vehicles, obviously, we see that they depreciate. Uh, so depreciation will depend on the uh, method of calculation that is being stated in the question, uh, be it maybe satellite method or the cost, uh, uh, the cost method. Or uh, it, it might be the uh, reducing balance method or the diminishing balance method. So those, those two are the mainly ones that are, uh, are applied uh, with modern business. So this is what we have. So uh, about the building buildings, we have got 400 to 1,900. So if you come to our answer section, we we'll see that we have got 400 and uh, 1,900. So this is the same uh, figure that we are going to put here. We are saying 400 and 1,900. And you see that. Is the same figure that is going to apply at the end of the year. So uh, the same figure here. Then we've got equipment to check what we have in terms of equipment. Uh, so for equipment, uh, remember we have got 354,194. So uh, we come here. I uh, will say 354,194. So the same figure again is going to affect, uh, apply here. This is uh, because uh, we do not have depreciation uh, in the question. So for vehicle, we go and check again to see what we have. Uh, vehicle is 434,442, which is the last one. So we can just come here and say 434,442. And we're saying the same figure is going to apply in the end. And then uh, for the total uh, column, we are just ending uh, for the um, Carrying value, we add uh, 441,800 plus 354,194 plus 434,142. And then obviously the answer that we are going to get here, uh, let's try to see. Uh, the answer that we are going to get there is 1 million, 430,536. So here we we'll say 441,800 plus 354,194 plus 434,442. We are going to get one million two hundred and thirty thousand five hundred and thirty six. So uh this is uh what we have. So uh this is what we have guys in terms of this video on the preparation of the notch at uh, statement of financial position, which is the not for property plan and equipment. So uh as for this video, I'm signing out and we meet again next video.